Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, December 4th, 2023. Let's get into it. So just to know, I always hit the comments at the beginning of the video. And you're right, the colors were all washed out on yesterday's video, but I had already made the video, and this is a new camera. This is the Samsung Galaxy S23, because I'm trying to improve my technology, you know, slowly but surely. I've only got you know, a limited amount of money. I'm just one dude. And I, but I will read you his comment. It says, I must confess, I now routinely double click past what you use as a theme. Not sure what he means by that, other than maybe the, the tailor to the video. Uh, you are looking very pastel in this vid. You need colors and a face level <laughs> camera. <laughs> To quote Genocide Joe, come on, man. <laughs> I just thought that was the greatest comment ever. Oh, uh, yeah, and you were absolutely right. I, I thought maybe I shouldn't put up the video, but I, I had spent so much time getting, you know, it takes a while to put all these clips together and everything, and then you get in there and you start editing it, and you're going, you know, uh, maybe it'll fly. All right, enough of that. Uh we're going to get into, this is this is going to be about Gaza. If you don't want to hear about Gaza, you can click off this video right now. But uh, we're seeing genocide. This is the extermination of the Palestinians, the bloodthirsty Democrats. Uh, I can't imagine that a single Muslim is going to vote Democrat uh, in the coming election, although they probably will. I mean, we've got literally, according to a video that I saw by George Galloway, uh, 6,800 dead children in Palestine right now. 6,800 dead kids. Um, well, let's just watch the... I mean, I, I want you to picture this. If, let's say you live in a city or somewhere, and this is what your city looks like. Let's get the first video now. That amount of devastation is, is horrendous. I mean, can you imagine if that was New York City? Well, I mean, of course, that's what Chicago looks like now. <laughs> we, got, we got all the blacks coming up in arms there because all the uh, illegal aliens are getting all the Democrat money now because they don't, they don't care about the black vote no more. They, they, they're buying off the illegal aliens and they're going to turn them into a voting block. I love how the Democrats buy votes with your tax money. Uh, and, and, you know, it's funny. Well, I mean, I guess Democrats are all for it because it's their tax money that buys the votes. So, you know, whatever. Uh, but that was the first video I wanted you to see about Gaza. And uh, it's, it's, it's horrendous. The next video, I'm sure that this will get me an 18 plus rating on uh, YouTube. But I'm going to put this up on X. And you can also watch The Burn, The Burn on Rumble, assuming this does uh not get banned from YouTube. Of course, I'm so buried in the algorithm on YouTube. YouTube really doesn't matter at this point. I mean, if you if you want to follow me, follow me on Rumble, man, or follow me on X. That cybersec guy, that cybersec guy on X. But anyway, this is the next uh, video I wanted you to see of Gaza. Horrible. Just a few seconds ago, another airstrike hit the vicinity of Nasser Hospital here in Khan Yunus. Uh, there is a... Um, Khan Yunus last night didn't sleep. The, the, uh, the, the, the warships in the sea kept hitting, uh, barraging Khan Yunus. Tanks kept trying to advance from the east and airstrikes haven't stopped hitting since the, since the last 48 hours. And as you can hear as well, the buzzing of the spy drones has not stopped. There is a fear amongst uh, the refugees here in Nasser Hospital that Nasser Hospital will be the new Ashifa Hospital. Will be the new Ashifa Hospital. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, the strikes aren't stopping and it is a little bit uh, tense right now. And people around us are very anxious about the situation. 
ambulances have been working around the clock and honestly casualties until now are unknown but every few minutes we can see a new dead body being carried into the morgue and then out of the morgue to the cemetery yeah imagine that and then if you want to know how all that rubble and all of that devastation is taking place israel's posting videos about their war crimes watch this one crazy so you know <coughs> i'm getting videos from both sides i just try to present you know what what i'm seeing and anyway so let's get into uh this is a x video my first bookmark boy i love these bookmarks on x was uh, heavy snow and ice has frozen jets in munich bound for dubai's global warming conference <laughs> it's a pictures of these jets that are frozen i you know isn't it funny all these guys that go you know they're worried about climate change and they all fly around on private jets i basically put more carbon dioxide in the, in the atmosphere than uh, probably a whole town would in one year you know oh, when one flight than the whole town would in one year you know I, so i just thought this was great man i I would I I'm going to learn how to put what I'm seeing on X up on the on the screen soon. I'm working on it. So this was a good Megatron. Have to follow him on X. Megatron Ron. Israel is the main reason why uh, big companies cancel advertising to Elon Musk. And by the way, if you haven't seen uh, Walmart, uh, well I think Disney, uh, there was about six or seven big companies that canceled their advertising on X. So, um, yeah, I'll just read you what he says, and he, he's absolutely right. After the start of the war in Israel and Palestine, shocking video materials are coming out of Gaza of the Israeli army committing genocide and massacring children. Well, I just showed you one, huh? I just showed you one. So, you know, he's absolutely right. All these video materials were mainly spread on the X application. Elon Musk was called a million times by Zionists globalists and their paid whores to ban and censor accounts that showed the truth to the world that's for damn sure and uh that led to the globalists completely losing control in the media space and the spread of information then there were huge protests all over the world and the majority of the world began to criticize the u.s government its vassals in israel who literally committing genocide and massacre of any children the bloodthirsty democrats how in the world do you sleep at night if you're a democrat you know, you're massacring people in Gaza. You you funded the Ukraine war. Ukraine is being obliterated. You warmongering Democrats. I don't even understand you. And, of course, we got rhinos like Mitch McConnell. Mittens Romney's gone. We're getting the rhinos out, slowly but surely, the MAGA Republicans. But Democrats, you're like the Borg, man. You're going to vote in your Democrats no matter what they do. I, they could nuke the world and you'd still vote Democrat. Oh, my God. Don't get me started. Uh, X is a source of information not only for those who use the platform, but almost all media in the world draw information from here. After the situation got out of hand, the Zionists and globalists dropped the strings. It was moved to plan B to destroy X financially. Now, one of the things I wanted to point out when I'm reading this is that it's not just X. Around the world, you've got Telegram, which is another huge platform that, that, that's seen around the world. And I, I'm on Telegram. I just haven't figured out how to use it yet. Because uh, it seems to be from the phone, and I'm not good with phones. I'm good with computers. That's why I'm that cybersecurity guy. Uh, and then um, the other platform is TikTok, coming out of China. So y you might shut down X. You might shut down all the Western media. Certainly the BBC. You know they they print nothing but propaganda. The New York, the Washington Post, uh, or the Washington Rag, I like to call it. The the New York um, Times. You know all uh, talking. Uh, mouthpieces of the cia you know if you want to ever watch those you got msdnc nbc cbs abc fox news i mean you're not going to get anything any information from those places you know but 
you've got platform. The rest of the world now is seeing all of this. And we're getting a smidgen of it here on X. And I'm going to tell you, X is censored too. You got the woman in charge of X is a, uh, uh, a Democrat. And she is censoring. She's got people blocked out. I've, I've seen people on YouTube saying they, they can't even get back on X. And Alex Jones, for example, you know, a lot of people, oh, Alex Jones, he's a terrible person. No, he's got a good, he's got a lot of good information if you ever want to watch him and give him, give him a thought. But this is Elon Musk, who always has a plan B. And the X payment system, similar to PayPal, which is already, and I didn't know about this, which has already received approval in 50 countries, PayPal, which was also created by Elon, is a very successful company, is now getting competition. That's why Elon Musk told the sponsors to go fuck themselves. So, I'm going to talk about PayPal for just one second. I was on PayPal when I had my cybersecurity business. And it takes a lot of work to set up all of your, your payments and everything like that. Well, then PayPal went political. They actually uh, froze people's accounts. They said, no, we, you know, we're not going to. So imagine, you know, if I say the wrong thing, let's just say that I, you know, me talking about Gaza was the wrong thing and PayPal freezes my account. All that work, all that time, all of my payment system, everything gets obliterated. So you think I'm going to use PayPal anymore? No, I just completely wiped the account out. I said, man, this, if you can't trust the financial institution that you're dealing with, then you can't, you can't do business. It's just as simple as that. And so, yeah, I'm going to check out Elon's new uh, payment system, and I'll probably be using it. And so what will the effect of all this? Globalists in the United States will no longer be able to fully control the media space. The world will see more and more. Well, they already lost control with TikTok and, and Telegram. And, well, and now X to a certain degree. I don't say. And those who support the Israeli genocide also support the destruction of X and free speech. Yeah, Democrats hate free speech. Democrats hate free speech. Let's just put it that way. They can't stand another opinion or a, another viewpoint being presented to the world other than their own, their own totalitarian dictates. You know, that's the uh, Marxist, communist, they're all. All right, let's keep going. So um, that was that. And then uh, uh, Jeroman, G-E-R-O-M-A-N, he's on, uh, I follow him. And he says, Marinka, I uh, has is falling. The, the official announcement will be made soon. There's practically no enemy left within the administrative boundaries of the city. And then he goes on to talk about, uh, well, there's the, the, also successful in the Nova Ika Ila Vaka. Well, good Lord. How do the Russians spell these damn things? It must be 50 letters long. But uh, just N-O-V-O-M-I-K-H-A-I-L-O-V-K-A. Area. If everything goes smoothly, then the Russian army will reach almost the rear of the enemy's uh, Ugladar group. So the war in, in Ukraine is lost. Uh, a lot of people don't know it. I can't wait to see what happens on these college campuses when they realize that they've been fed a pack of lies. All lies by the media. All lies by the Democrats. All lies from their government. I mean, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, this is Megatron again. Uh, Iran, Russia, and China will hold a joint military exercise in the Persian Gulf soon. I found this very interesting. The new anti-NATO, and he calls it the Warsaw Pact, because <laughs> the back, the anti-NATO Warsaw Pact is slowly forming. North Korea can be added to these four countries. And we get a powerful military alliance in the world, perhaps the most powerful in terms of the amount of weapons, advanced technology, and military experience. Definitely the most powerful. I was watching, uh, well, uh, the new Russian hardware, the new drones that have come out of Russia. They got the portable electronic warfare equipment that's on the battlefield now. And just today, I was checking this thing out. It was awesome. So what they've got is this, it's a robot bed. If you want to look at it as a robot bed. And so you remember the movies where, you know, they, they shoot the guy and he sits out there and goes, help me, help me, come on, somebody help me. And, and then they're sitting back there, no, don't go, don't go. The, the, it's a trap, it's a trap, it's a trap. And of course, always they go out there and then they get killed. So what Russia's done is they've come up with this portable robot. And it goes out, I don't know, I don't think it's on the battlefield yet, or maybe it's, it's probably in prototype mode right now, but it goes out, and the, the cool thing is it's equipped with electronic warfare 
uh, capabilities. So I guess Russia made the video, but what was happening, they were hit, trying to hit it with drones, and the drone would hit to the side, hit to the side, and, and the, 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 the robot had a, a, a mannequin on it with, you know, with the leg blown off, and it was rolling away from the battlefield. So now you can send these drones out, or these uh, robots out to pick up uh, casualties off of the battlefield and, and then cart them back and not risk, well, I mean, the, the drones can't hit it, uh, and, but, and, and not risk other soldiers. So, I mean, don't tell me the technology is not advancing in Russia. I mean, my God, they keep coming out. And, of course, the, 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 the amount of stuff and the size of their military was 1.2 million is what I heard. Now I think they're talking about going to 1.5 million men under arms. That dwarfs the United States. And they're all trained and they're all well equipped. I, you know, I tell you, if I was in Europe, I'd be shaking in my boots right now. I, uh, you know, they think they're going to fight Russia. Well, I, and Russia's not going to attack Europe, but I'm saying if they keep poking the bear and poking the bear and poking the bear, Russia may just decide, you know what, I, I, let's just shut these people up and come across. Well, you, you know, okay, you say nukes. Well, if you're going to nuke the world, go ahead. All right. It seems like what the Biden administration, what the Democrats want, the Democrats want to destroy the world. So then it says China and Russia have already agreed on a joint scientific center to develop high military technology. Well, I guess a joint center would be good, but it seems to me the Russians are doing pretty damn good on their own. Iran has confirmed that it's receiving advanced Su-35 warplanes from Russia. So now you got China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, the new Warsaw Pact. North Korea got its first satellite with the help of Russia as well. I talked about that in a previous video. And it's incredible how Biden and his incompetent administration managed to create a multipolar world in two years. <laughs> I mean, this is a great tweet. I mean, I had to just, I could make the whole video just about this tweet right here. And then, of course, uh, the other thing was another one from Geoman. The Russian army is advancing in almost all sectors of the front. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine began to admit the failure of its counteroffensive and the loss of initiative in, uh, in the evening report. The enemy reports 63 Russian attacks per day. Uh, in the Kokonsky direction, the Russian armed forces carried out assault operations in the Sikakka area and the Kharkov region. And then it just goes on. In the Lehman directions, Russians carried out seven attacks, conducting assault operations. In Bakhmut directions, the Russians carried out 18 attacks, conducting assault operations in the areas. And I won't try to pronounce these areas. Uh, or Adrivka, Adrif because that's, uh, that's the, the, the city that was bombing the Donbass. And in the Adrivka directions, the Russians carried out all assault operations south. And then it lists about six different places. And it just goes on. So that's it. For this video, oh wait, we gotta we gotta finish up with some Russian hardware. out stay free you can run on for a long time run on for a long time run on for a long time sooner or later god's gonna cut you down sooner or later god's gonna cut you down go tell that globalist liar that democrat idiot writer that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician, sooner or later God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later God's gonna cut you down.